Hey everybody, what's going on? Vinny here from TheAndroidAction.com Here today with a review of SS Launcher. Very cool launcher I came across today. Um, just very different, very new kind of feel. Uh, really takes you away from the typical Android experience. Gives you kind of a Windows Phone 7 feel, but still gives you the Android customization aspects. So, uh, very different, very cool. But, um, in any event, you see you have Home, you have Hot Applications, you can add uh, basically your favorite applications there. And then you have your application drawer and then contacts here as well as bookmarks and then credits to uh, some developers that obviously helped out with the app itself. So kind of cool. But uh, the home is what I really want to focus on here. So oops. Um, you can mess around with anything. So say I want phone here. I can I mean, I can put it a, a, a little slightly down. There's no like presets. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Um, it's just very cool because it's not. Uh, it doesn't have a locked position. You know, with widgets, you know, it's either here or here, here or there. You know, so this is. You can move it pretty much anywhere that you want it, which is really cool. Also, uh, with but just about anything if I click browser for example I can edit it and see we can edit it we can have the style edit the style and I'll show you all these different things that we can have here so we can go with something that isn't on the screen already we will choose um, I don't want to do that we'll do this one here so then we can go background, change the style of the background. Uh, we can go background color. We'll do an awkward red, I guess. That works for me. And apply settings. Apply settings. And there we go. So, okay. Apparently, I didn't pick up on the uh, on the app on the app uh, icon itself, probably because it doesn't know which browser I wanted to use, but. Let me see. Yeah, okay, that's why. So we'll choose browser real quick. Okay, there we go. So pretty cool, very uh very interesting. It's just uh it's very customi customizable as far as uh what you want on your screen, which I found very nice, very cool, and pretty intuitive if I can talk, but apparently not. Um in any event guys, it's a very very simplistic, but at the same time, very complicated launcher. You got to mess around with it a lot to get used to it. Um, it doesn't have a lot of customization, but at the same time, for what it is, it says a lot you can customize if that makes sense. So, it's not really much else I can review here. Um, if you want, you can add, I'll add a, show you how to add these real quick. You just basically select what you want, and just selecting random stuff. Hit OK, and there you go. Your hot applications are there. So, in any event, it's a very nice uh, launcher. I, I would recommend it for anyone that wants to, you know, change it up a little bit and uh, do something new. Uh, it's very cool. Still gives you, of course, uh, your general Android stuff going on in the background. You know, messaging. So it looks like messaging. You know, nothing uh, crazy changes, but uh, the front of the phone is going to look a lot different, which is cool. Um, if that's what you're looking for. So, you know, if you have any questions, you can go down below, comment on the video, or you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook as well. I'll leave all those links down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See all of our phone reviews, our app reviews, our news uh, related stuff, our how to's, our how to roots, all that stuff coming out of this channel. So uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. So, with all that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.